Okay, we're on uh, day three of our uh, uh, excursion, our, our expedition, and the expedition will take us right to the border of, uh, of uh, Brazil and, and Suriname. We'll be right in the watershed where the water goes both ways. And, and uh, uh, for adventure, uh, there would be four, for adventure there would be four righteous men in this rainforest. Uh, I'm just praying today that, that Father God, you'll spare it from the fire that's coming down. You're sending fire down to burn up all the trees and, and all the grass and on a third of the earth. And I just pray that you'll, you'll spare this. And, and I just wanted to talk about uh, uh, the corrupting of God's words. Uh, yesterday we talked a little about, about uh, Psalms uh, 12, 6, where it says, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver is tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times now you notice in chapter 7 it's it, it'll say that uh, Psalms 12 7 it'll say uh, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever now of course back then when it was written when when, when King David and Solomon in that time uh, when the Psalms were written it would say that uh, this generation was talking about that generation then but of course when we read your book Lord it's alive God's book is alive the King James Bible is a living word of God. And it says, from this generation forever. So from our generation too, forever he's preserving his words. Okay. Now I want to go to 2 Corinthians uh, 2.17. And in 2.17, it says, uh, we talked about how his words are pure, of course, yesterday. And all, all the purity of his words and all the scriptures for that. Uh, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. But, but us of sincerity, but us of God, i got to put my glasses on. It's okay, keep bidding. I, I'm going to have to read this glasses because I just can't see the words in the book. Hey, I don't want to mess them up. Not God's words. Any other words I can mess up. Okay. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. So you see, men are corrupting God's words. They're corrupting his words. They're bringing out in every new Bible version every year. Now there's translation teams in the Amazon and all through this part of the world and, and third world countries, and they're corrupting God's word even more and more and more. Why? They're putting copyrights in their Bibles so they can sell them and put a copyright so you've got to buy new Bible versions. And it's all about new Bible versions. They've gone so far away from God's words. So back in Genesis 18, 24, we talked about Abraham said, Pre-adventure there be 50 righteous within the city. Wilt thou also not spare? Wilt thou also destroy and not spare the place for the 50 righteous therein? And then he went on and, and, and Abraham said, And shall, shall there lack five in the city? Will you still spare the city? Lack five of the 50, which was 45. And he kept bargaining God down until he finally got him down to 10. And, and, and Lord, if there be only four righteous in this rainforest, Will you save it from your fire coming down is what I'm asking today. Uh, thanks a lot.